Hello. So I've been working on building a little toiletry kit for my go bag, my emergency bag, and I realize a lot of people would be interested in a little toiletry kit for any application such as travel, uh, ultralight backpacking. One thing you're going to want is dental floss, but as you can see here, if you're going to build it into an Altoids tin, dental floss will not fit. Uh, it's even just too fat in terms of this dimension to fit in an Altoids tin. Little portable ones, such as this that you can get from the dentist when you get your teeth clean, it will physically fit, but it takes up almost a quarter of the entire contents, and we need to fit a lot of stuff in here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a chapstick lid into a dental floss container uh, to fit inside an Altoids tin for ultralight portability. So this is a little standard uh, dental floss mini thing you get at the dentist or if you have, when you have your teeth cleaned. Uh, I normally pass on these, but they're great for building little kits. And you can open them up to get at the actual goods inside. You get about three yards or three meters of uh, dental floss. Uh, so I'm going to try and make a micro version of this out of this uh, one I got from the dentist. This is a chapstick lid. See that this fits in perfectly. Now we're going to make a little seal from it uh, from another chapstick. So we're going to make a hole for the dental floss by heating up a steel pin and piercing this right in the middle. We're going to feed our dental floss through that hole. So I fed, <coughs> fed the dental floss through the hole, stick it in the body, stick the cutter on the outside. I had to squish it flat so it's a little tighter. And this is a combination of the plunger that's been cut down and the top outer ring that's been cut. So it's sort of two components put together. There we go, nice tight fit. So there we have micro dental floss. But ta -da. let's just make sure it does dispense. Yep, it does dispense. And now let's cut it with the cutter. It works! That is the world's smallest dental floss. Quite a bit smaller than this. So it's quite a bit smaller, and in theory I could reload this uh, if I heated this Phillips head uh, so I could put it right there. I think I could actually spool in more dental floss uh, once I use it up. This is what they look unwrapped. This is what they look like wrapped, although I've marked the major areas and cut out two notches. And by cutting out the two notches, you also make a nice area for wrapping uh, twine, or in my case, I use dental, dental floss. Uh, this is a uh, razor blade wrapped with about nine meters, although I'm converting all my systems to 10 meters because it's a better increment for measuring long distances. It's a decameter. Uh, I normally would have a uh, pin, not a pin, a needle, a uh, heavy-duty sewing needle attached to the end so that you can do emergency repairs quickly and easily, uh, even if you've uh, broken your hand or it's windy and you're having trouble stringing 
uh, threading a needle in the wind. Uh, you always want everything in your survival kit to be easy to use, not hard to use. The end of the twine attaches to this little cutout notch that I have built into the cardboard. And then this thing I call a pivoting pivot. It's just made out of uh, a piece of paper clip. It pivots this way, so it's pivoting, but its function is to act as a pivot so that I can dispense my cord quickly and easily. And I haven't marked this cord. Uh, see that mark? I originally was going to mark uh, every three meter increments. Now I'm going to mark every one meter increments so I know how many are left. So this little micro dental floss dispenser came out real nice. It'll be a perfect addition for my micro toiletry kit. Great for travel, small enough to fit in a shirt pocket. Video coming soon.